In this quick video, I'll be continuing the grid-based movement in 2D. If you haven't checked the previous video, I highly suggest you check it out to get an understanding of the system. From that, I've managed to add two things. One change I've added is that we now have the player that is animated when walking in any direction. The second being is when you click on an obstacle tile, it will path the player to the nearest available tile instead. If you guys just want the project, you can go to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to first thank my Patreon supporters, Gary, Samael, Hipmail, Mohammed, and Sabrina. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. The first thing we'll look at is the animated tab. This brings the character to life instead of it just being a circle and moving around. I've added the different bull parameters to indicate each direction. As for the animation itself, I have the idle set to the player facing down. Each animation will have a sprite sheet of them walking in either direction. I dragged all of them into the animated tab and made transitions going from the idle to all directions, having them set to true when walking and transitioning it back to false when going back to idle. We will call this functionality through the script. We'll be adding some changes in the group movement character script. In Visual Studio, we'll be adding a private move direction called last movement direction. We'll also add a reference to the animator called anim, a private pool called is idle which is set to false, and a private float called idle delay which is set to 0.1. Scrolling down to the handle movement input, I've made some comments on the stuff I've added compared to the previous video, but this particular change is what handles the player pathing to the nearest available tile when the player clicks on an obstacle tile. This is done by the find nearest non-obstacle tile, which we'll get to later on. At the bottom of the script, this is where we reset the animation to idle after every movement input. For example, turning a corner or changing directions. Moving down a bit more to the move towards target, I added a horizontal and vertical movement pool. This is what takes care of calling the animation depending on the direction the character is facing, having to set it to true based on the direction and an else statement at the bottom to a coroutine that transitions the animation back to false with a slight delay. Scrolling down to the reset animation boolean enumerator, this is pretty much straightforward. I'll just have a small delay before setting all the animation bool back to false, meaning it will have a slight delay when going back to the idle state. For the find nearest non-obstacle tile, this will just calculate the nearest available tile only if I click on an obstacle tile. It uses a queue to find the tiles next to it, marking the ones that are already checked and repeating it until it finds the one that hasn't been checked and is available. Lastly, the get adjacent tile just lets us know what direction we're able to check in. In our case, it's just up, down, left, and right. Anyways, that is all for this video. If you do want the project, you can go ahead by subscribing to my Patreon down below alongside the first episode. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to join my community, my Discord will also be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.